Welcome to the latest episode of Drone News from Jeff Sibelius and LandAndAirPhotos.com. DJI has announced two handheld gimbals. At the low end of the cost spectrum, the Osmo Mobile 2 provides gimbal stabilization for recording with cell phones. The Mobile 2 is expected to retail for $129. Do people who video with their phones want to use a gimbal? I don't know. I'm interested to see what response this gets. The price is definitely right. For more advanced photographers, DJI will release the Ronin S, a handheld gimbal for mirrorless and DSLR cameras. I have to admit, I'm drooling over this one. Stabilized mobile video with my Panasonic G85 would be awesome. Price hasn't been announced, but I'm hearing it will cost less than $1,000. That's pretty steep for a gimbal, but it has to be pretty robust to support a DSLR. I'm interested to see how it compares with the Xeon Crane V2, which costs $400, or the Crane Plus, which costs $569, or the Crane 2, which sells for $749. DJI has also announced a new drone called the Tello. Unlike other products from DJI, the Tello is extremely limited and definitely falls in the toy category. For example, it does not have GPS capabilities or optical stabilization, and it's controlled with a Wi-Fi connection, meaning its range will be less than 100 meters out and 10 meters up. It doesn't have a media card slot, so its 720p videos are transmitted to your smart device for storage. Sounds pretty limited, right? Well, hey, what do you expect for a drone that costs under 100 bucks? The truth is, everything about the Tello is targeted to newbie flyers. It's small and easy to carry. At only 80 grams, you won't have to register to fly this drone in the U.S. It includes a 5-megapixel video camera. It can do flips and can be launched from your hand or by tossing it in the air. It features interchangeable backs so you can swap out its colors. It has built-in vision positioning to help it maintain its position, and built-in prop guards for times when, well, when it doesn't maintain its position. Apparently, the Tello is intended to be an indoor drone, and that makes sense. A drone that weighs less than 3 ounces is going to get blown around in any kind of wind. For a little toy drone, it has some pretty nice features. The battery is supposed to last 13 minutes, which is better than you typically get with a toy drone. And its batteries can be swapped out so you can keep flying. Also, it's compatible with game controllers and supports VR headsets. Although I'm not sure how often you would use a headset on an indoor drone. There is no gimbal to provide stabilization, but the Tello does have electronic image stabilization built in. It includes some minimal intelligent flight modes like circle and up and away, which is probably like selfie mode on the Spark. And it supports a simple coding system named Scratch, so users can dabble with programming for their drones. Again, these features are great, but will you use them on an indoor drone? I guess we'll see. If nothing else, I can see a lot of DJI flyers buying the Tello for their kids. So, are you interested in the Tello? It's expected to be available in March. If you buy a Tello from acesdeals.biz and use the promo code JSLAP, you should be able to get a discount on the price, making it an even better deal. Buy extra batteries, props, prop guards, or interchangeable top covers and save even more. When the link is available to purchase the Tello, I'll put it in the description below. That's it for this episode of Drone News. Thanks for watching my video. I've set up a Facebook group to make it easier for us to talk about drones and arrange opportunities to fly together. Follow the link in the description below to sign up for the group. On screen you'll find a playlist with many more tutorial videos on drones, so please check them out. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Thanks for watching.